Morning, brethren. Good morning. Good morning. It's been brought out uh, lately that we've had quite a few new insights and things. So this morning, I want to open up by encouraging you to take advantage of this time that you've been given. Amen. Have you come expecting to receive this morning? If you have, labor for the meat that endures. There is labor involved in listening and hearing and receiving. Um, hearing is a stewardship from God. Some people don't think of it this way, but it is. If you've been given ears to hear, then this is a stewardship that God has given you. And it's one that requires increase, just as the other talents that we've been given. So if you've been given e ears to hear, this is a joyous stewardship from the Lord, learning of the Father. If you're one that has prepared something for the meetings, then you've experienced the fellowship of Christ in doing this. You've experienced him giving you things uh, to give to the brethren. So this, the Lord has given you something to say to the brethren. So I exhort you this morning to listen to the speakers just as if it was Christ speaking to you, because it is. He, is, he uses gifts of men to dispense the things he would have the church to hear. Remember, he is building a habitation for God. Amen. We are being built this very day. Christ is not slothful. He is ever working. <clears throat> this habitation is the whole body, fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure by every part. So let us be built today. Let us hasten the day by pressing forward and, and being conformed into his image. Have you ever been invited to someone's house for dinner and arrived, but you stayed outside? You didn't go into the house. Or you went in and you didn't even eat the meal that they had prepared. Has anyone ever invited you and you just uh, watched everyone else eat? This would probably be considered rude by most people. But Christ has prepared a fine meal for us this morning. Amen. Dare we not eat of it? Have you been invited to eat what Christ has given? Enter in, enter with your pure minds, hearts, bodies, ears that hear, eyes that see, lips that proclaim the, news of, the good news of the kingdom, fellowship with Jesus and all the heavenly hosts as they join us this morning. I thought about how do we apply taking the kingdom by force at the meetings, and one way we do this is striving to get everything that we can out of the meetings. There is plenty here to be received, so you can strive by increasing your appetite bulking up, so to speak. Make it your aim to get as much as you can from the meetings. When, <clears throat> when there was plenty, Joseph uh, told everyone to gather up. In Genesis 41, 35 through 36, it says, And let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt that the land perish not through the famine. So we must gather spiritual food now while we have opportunity. We do not know that this opportunity will continue. There may come a time of famine when you have to use the resources that you have. It may be the time when you need extra oil. Now is the time to wake from sleep. There will come a time when you cannot buy. So the time to gather is now. So, brethren, lay up, your treasures, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. These are words from our Lord. Amen. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, Amen. and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And seek not what ye shall eat and what ye shall drink, neither be ye doubtful of mine. For all of these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that you need these things. Yes. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to Amen. you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yeah. Sell that you have and give alms. Provide for yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Mm -hmm. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord. Mm -hmm. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, he shall gird himself, the Lord's going to gird himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. Amen. What a wonderful promise this Amen. is. 
We are provided all we need, and all we have to do is take hold. It is here for whosoever will come. We have bought a field, brethren. Let us plow it up and uncover all the gems that's hidden therein. When I first moved here and I saw all the mining fields, I thought, what a desolate place, you know, all these mining fields. But now when I pass them, I think about the kingdom. I think that we all have a field to dig in, and it's all the same field. So let us exhaust all the areas, make piles of sand where we have dug out the jewels. As we have confirmed again Wednesday night, our Lord is building us together. So we grow together. So let's take advantage of this time that the Lord has provided for us to be together, to be conformed in his image. Okay. Um